I think this one new feature from Perplexity could change publishing, SEO, and just how we all use the internet. I'm not sure it's brand new, but I think this has the potential to really catch on uh, if enough people are using it because it makes both publishing, reading, and interacting with information so much easier. All right, let's jump into it and let's look at this new feature from Perplexity called Pages. All right, so I'll tell you a little bit more about what this is, but we do in AI in five every single day to help you understand and use generative AI. So let's just go ahead and jump straight in and explain what this is. So first things first is you have to have a pro plan. You have to have a Perplexity pro plan. This is not available on the free plan. So keep that in mind. Uh, you know, so it might be a bummer, but it might be enough for you to upgrade. So uh, it is a little tricky to find. So, you know, normally uh, if you're a free user, a lot of times you'll just click this new thread button and you don't get the option. Uh, so what you need to do is you actually need to extend the side tray and then in library, click the plus button and then click page. So this is the new page. So we're going to go through and we're going to make one live here in a, uh, a minute, but you might be thinking, okay, like, why does this even matter? Well, uh, a lot of users online have been talking about how quickly these per perplexity pages are actually getting indexed and showing up in search results. Crazy enough, this is super meta, not like Facebook meta, but just meta meta, that AI overviews are actually picking up perplexity when you search something. So, you know, Google's had these new uh, AI overviews now for a couple of weeks that have been kind of disastrous. But one thing this uh, Twitter user, Christy Hines, uh, you know, spotted is that uh, these perplexity pages are number one, they're getting picked up pretty quickly by Google and they're getting indexed. So if you care about SEO, that's definitely worth uh, taking a look at. But also some like, strangely enough, right? So even in this uh, case, it looks like the AI overview from Google is pulling information from this new AI feature out of perplexity pages. So uh, kind of wild how it's just this kind of infinite loop of AI and SEO playing off, each, uh, off of each other. Uh, anyways, let's just go ahead. Let's jump in and create one here quickly live. Uh, so one thing I would first recommend you do is, you know, watch, um, you know, watch, first watch this video before you do it. But also you can go down here and click these examples and create one. Uh, also, I think it's important to know this audience drop down. So you can do it for anyone, beginners or experts. So I'm actually going to be doing this about uh, for beginners. And uh, it's what's your page about? And I'm going to say best, uh, large, I hate typing live, language models for beginners in 2024. So maybe this is something I want people to land on my website in theory, but maybe using this perplexity page will actually give a little bit more SEO value. All right. So now we have this for beginners uh, because the article I want to create is actually geared toward beginners. So let's go ahead and click the next button and we'll kind of go through um, what this process looks like. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Hopefully we can see it here, but you'll see now what it does. It essentially created uh, or is creating in real time, essentially a blog post, right? About the top large language models in 2024 for beginners, right? So here it is. It says curated by me. And that's kind of my, my username here. And then it says just now. All right, so uh, you'll see here, this does look very similar to a little bit um, of a more advanced or more in-depth uh, kind of query that you would normally get from Perplexity. However, it is formatted a little bit more to read it like a blog post and not just like an answers engine, which is really what Perplexity is. So if you are new to Perplexity and you're not quite sure even what it is, we've done other videos on that. But in short, uh, you, you know, let's just say as an example, if you wanted to know more about this topic, you would probably Google it or use a traditional search engine and you would probably read multiple pages. That's essentially what Perplexity does. And it grabs that most important information and puts it all into one article and then it cites. So as an example here, for this kind of intro paragraph, it says it uses five sources. So I can click on those sources and I can read a little bit more about them. Also, uh, you can click something. So let's say in your pages overview, you see something's like, ah, this I don't really want. So, you know, maybe as an example, this developer's, uh, you know, 
article from Google is a little too complex. So I want to remove it since this is for beginners. So I'm just going to click remove source. Uh, it's going to update here in a second, and then it's going to take that information out um, and then only use those remaining sources. At any time, you can click stop, but it's actually a pretty uh, a pretty quick process as you can see it going along here. Uh, so you can also go and edit it. So I can go in and you know edit things uh, manually, or I can just, um, so let's just say as an example, uh, let's just say in the beginning here, I want to mention chat GPT to grab people's attention. So I can highlight this. And then in the custom instructions, I can say, please mention chat GPT in the intro as that's what most beginners know. All right. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to click that rewrite button and presumably whether it's pulling from one of these sources or going to find new sources, we'll actually find out. It's going to update that intro with something about chat GPT because, Hey, if I'm writing for beginners, chances are beginners, no chat GPT. All right. So now it's, it's there. So it says large language models such as chat GPT. All right. So pretty cool, right? Uh, so a couple other options. Uh, you can make this longer. You can make it shorter. So let's just say I want this first paragraph to be longer so I can highlight it. All right. Maybe I can't anymore. I don't Oh, I think it's because I already have uh, a portion of that highlighted. So let's just try this again. Let's say I want to make this uh, one sentence a little more. I want to have a little more. So I can just click that write more. Okay. I can just say... Uh, make this portion about chat GPT longer and um, more appealing with a copywriting hook, right? So I have this make longer uh, kind of option. I'm giving it a little uh, information on how I specifically want that to be updated. And now probably, hopefully we'll get a little bit better of a hook uh, in this section that was just one sentence will probably be, hopefully be a little bit longer. All right. So Kind of worked, kind of didn't didn't really work that well actually. Uh, okay, so a couple other a couple other features you can drag this uh, to reposition it to reposition the photo. Again, this is not you know relevant for top large language models. So I can click change. Um, I can click generate image. I'm going to say uh, photograph. And we'll see if this does a little bit better. So uh, in your Perplexity Pro settings, you can choose, um, you, you know, what image generation you want to use. So I believe I have like uh, stable, stable diffusion. So this isn't that great. So I'm just going to say technology. Um, it looks like it's a combination probably of stock photos and AI generated photos. I'm not even sure. Uh, so let's just go ahead and click that one. So now we have uh, something that looks a lot better. So a couple other things that you can do uh, in the more section, you can move it up or down. Again, you can go in and edit this, make it more concise, make it more detailed, et cetera. So let's just do that once and let's just make this, more, this, whole, uh, this whole section here. Uh, a little more detailed. So if you want certain things to be longer or shorter, depending on your audience, uh, you can go in and do that as well as giving it kind of a custom uh, prompting here as well. All right. So you'll see here, it's pretty straightforward. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to keep doing this. I wanted this video to be kind of short. It's already getting kind of long. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead. Once it's done, we're going to publish it. It should be done here in a second. All right. Perfect. So you can click preview here to see what it looks like. All right. And that looks good to me. I'm going to click publish. So now it says top AI language models is live on perplexity. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this link. All right. And then I'm going to open it and you can see exactly what this looks like. So I'm actually going to do it though in an in incognito page. So you can see that it's going to still share this, even though I'm not logged in. There we go. So here is, uh, it's not logged in. It's already uh, published. It's not going to be indexed uh, immediately, uh, but I, I would assume that probably within uh, a day or two days, if you search for this exact phrase, so like I'm doing here, there's no results. I'm guessing, you know, uh, it's going to be indexed within a day or two. If I linked it from my website, things like that, it would probably happen a little quicker. 
All right. So I hope that was helpful. Uh, so let me know what you think about perplexity pages. If this was helpful, please go to your everyday AI.com. Sign up for our free daily newsletter. We do these little AI and fives. They turn into AI and tens uh, almost every single day to show you latest tools, tips, and tutorials on how to use generative AI to grow your company, grow your career. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you back for another one. Thanks.